After World War II, Penn became the dominant saltwater reel manufacturer. Just about any saltwater reel you saw from about 1950 to 1995 was a pen or a copy of it. It was discovered early that huge yellowtails spent much of their time milling around on deep reefs off of California and in Baja, and that dropping down heavy iron jigs and retrieving them super fast would trigger a reaction strike. We call this yo-yoing. The problem was that reels that had enough drag and capacity to catch these fish were geared way too slow. Also, the four out and up reels that can handle these fish were so wide that leveling the line on the spool while reeling as fast as you can was next to impossible. Over half a decade ago, Carl Newell began selling parts to make these commonly used pin reels better. The upgrade that made him famous was the Yellowtail Special. This is basically a four out pin with a narrowed spool and fast four to one gear. Uh, Carl Newell's upgrades were an instant success. In the 1980s, a SoCal company called Tiburon began producing high-quality machined aluminum frames and spools to make yellowtail specials out of the pen 113H. Tiburon's aluminum spools solved all the problems that Newell's graphite spools had, like splitting. When they came out with the T-bar handle, it made cranking even easier. The instant the instant these came out, fishermen from Baja to uh, all over the coast of California loved these reels and they probably accounted for more yellowtail than any combo in history. Then in the early 90s, Accurate, another SoCal engineering company, started producing their own high quality reels with a machined aluminum frames, side plates, reel clamps, and reel handles. This began the age of hot rodding reels. With Accurate in the game, you can now make a yellowtail special with a fully machined aluminum frame that was super narrow, had four to one gears in it, had upgraded bearings that, that would just free spool forever, had a beefed up dog in it, and had improved drags. In my mind, this was the golden age of the yellowtail special. They were cranking iron, on the bow of every party boat in Ponga from the Channel Islands to Gonzaga Bay. By the mid-1990s, after an astonishing 40 years of ignoring the marketplace for this type of reel, the major fishing reel manufacturers finally wised up to Carl Newell's yellowtail special idea and finally came to the market with offerings like uh, the Pin Baja Special and the Shimano Trinidad. And uh, don't forget the Daiwa Sea Line Xs. With later advancements in braided fishing lines, these reels morphed over the last 20 years into narrow, big drag, two speed, high speed wonder reels that we use for jigging today. Like the Shimano Talica and Penn's Torque, Daiwa Saltiga, and don't forget the Avex JX Raptor. So anywhere you go in the world today, where they're fishing jigs fast for big fish, you know that these reels are the grandchildren of the Yellowtail Special.